Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren from Lauren's Cravings over on Instagram. If you follow me over there, you know that I'm a big foodie. So I just wanted to do another one of what I eat in a week videos because the first one actually seemed to do pretty good, um, which what did surprise me. So I thought I would do another one. What I would appreciate though is if you can leave in the comments what style you like. So if you like just seeing the food or you do like me narrating some information around the food just so that I know what to do if we continue, if I continue doing these videos going forward um, and if there's anything else you would like included. So if you want me to call out what recipes I do have available on my page so you know to go search for that, what recipes are still to come or which ones I'm just eating and don't have recipes for. Would appreciate a like and subscribe just to show that you obviously enjoy this video and otherwise let's get started. Here's what I eat in a week. So breakfast is a smoothie using fruit from the fresh fruit shop. There is strawberries, raspberries, mango and just some orange juice to loosen it up a wee bit. I'm also marinating some ch chicken thighs for chicken tikka. So this is the first marinade. Lunch, we've got corn and a parsley butter, chicken tikka, rice salad, the recipe is with my lamb souvlaki recipe. Dinner is leftovers, so cabbage, carrot, broccoli and cauliflower cheese. I'll need to do this more actually instead of just cauliflower. A nice big fat tomato, because who doesn't love a roast tomato, don't come at me. Roast potatoes and I've just cooked a chicken breast. So Johnny probably isn't going to like this because I have officially just made my dinner and who knows what he'll be coming into. So this morning I am sitting by my window and eating the gorgeous pan of chocolate from Lidl. 49 pence. Marks and Spencers are about a pound. Co-op also about a pound. So technically you could get two for the price of one, but I stick to one. So just to give you a little insight into what it's like in my house, I'm making two lunches. Jonathan and his friend have come over to fix the roof. I'm making them Cajun lemon chicken pasta. And then for myself, I'm making a Caesar with a nice chicken breast, which I'll show you because camera angles and all that. But this Caesar dressing from Lidl is my favourite I've tried, so I just wanted to recommend that. I'll show you is obviously the finished product. So I'm trialing a new recipe. This is harissa chicken and pepper skewers. I had like leftover um, rose harissa. So I'm just going to make these, and I say make these, they're already cooked, but I'm going to heat them up in the microwave. And I've also cooked some rice in a rice cooker. I wasn't a fan of rice until I actually got my rice cooker. And can I just say it is incredible and one of the best in, like, inventions and purchases I've probably made in terms of food gadgets. I have a bit of a random ensemble here because I've also just like put a wee dod of hummus there as well um, because I didn't have a sauce. But I'm going to try these. So this is obviously recipe prep. This is actually a Japanese rice that my brother recommended that he buys from Amazon. So I will potentially like, recommend it up on my Instagram if I do like it. And I'm also back on metformin as well, um, which I did take before I gave birth. And I'm hoping he's had a wee bit of an upset tummy and this is a side effect. So I'm hoping through the breast milk he's not getting the impact. But anyway, if you do see a recipe up soon of Parissa chicken and pepper skewers, then you know this has been a success. Dessert is homemade eaten mess. Nom 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 nom. And as always, my fruit is from the fresh fruit and veg shop in Uddingston. More coffee in the morning. Lunch today because I've just prepped some lentil soup. I had some leftover, so that's in a cup in the microwave right now. And then I got a little baguette, little demi baguette from Lidl. It's got chicken slices, because I'm preferring that over like gammon right now, which is what I always used to have, and some coleslaw also from Lidl. So this night, I'm actually following a recipe that I got from HelloFresh. I'll show you, and it is one of my favourites. Keep bringing it out. I'm glad they give you the recipe card, because I'm always bringing it out from my recipe cupboard to make it. I will show this you. This is the rigatoni caprese, pine nuts, mozzarella, but balsamic tomato salsa. And this is us here. 
So you don't melt the mozzarella, it's got chunks of fresh mozzarella, barely cooked tomatoes tossed through, the recipe calls for it to be put on top, I just like them tossed through. And that's what I'm going to dig into for dinner tonight. I'm going to make Jonathan's as well, but he's going to have chicken cooked in his too. What utensil am I eating it with? Obviously a spoon. Nom, 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 nom. I think Bryce wants some. We chatterbox there. Today's lunch, I have some leftover falafel, so I'm going to make them just for little pops of goodness. And I was in the mood for soup, right? And I'm about to make a confession because most of what I eat is always homemade. Do you ever get a wee hankering for like Heinz tomato soup? It is the only one that I keep in a tin in my cupboard. And today I was like, fancy some Heinz tomato soup with some white pepper, salt, and just, I actually have it in a cup. So I very rarely eat soup out of a bowl. I don't know if anyone else does that, but yeah, I've got this huge mug says boss on it because obviously I'm making boss decisions and I'm going to have my hands tomato soup and my little balls of falafel. I mean they don't go, it doesn't, it isn't something you would put together but I will eat one after the other and I will enjoy it. Come to mama and for me it does need to be white pepper so we sprinkling a white pepper and then also and these are getting an insight into my under hob drawer here, some salt and stir that through and we're going to go enjoy this and stick these in the oven. Dinner is from these dickheads but they do do good pizza but shite dip! So get the garlic and help from Aldi, much bigger for the same price. Get the sausage and pepperoni, num num num, although severely lacking in cheese in this little patch. Still delightful nonetheless. Breakfast this morning, that's how I was teaching Bryce to narrate this, but he's a bit young yet. Featuring my lovely mum bun is frozen croissants from Breaks. So you just get these and they can cook from frozen and I'm probably going to make some bacon to put inside them. Are you a croissant and jam or a croissant and bacon type of person? Really decent for frozen croissants eh? This is a random tip, but I actually cut them using scissors because otherwise you can actually squish them quite a bit, whereas you retain quite a bit of the shape if you use scissors. So, just a handy tip. I, would, I was going to say use, useless, but it's, it's handy. See? And it's all in the right place and actually retained its shape. Whereas if I went at it with a knife, it'd be all squished in. And... So, there's a wee croissant cutting hack for you. And is this a no no, but all butter croissant? I do butter them. And there we go. Got some baking medallions on there and I'm just going to fold that over. Don't hate on me, but I occasionally put brown sauce on it. Oh. And for today's lunch, I had some leftover chicken from the roast chicken I made the other night. So I'm just going to add some of this butter. This is actually the Jordan Hughes butter, the Gillo, or Gillot. It's French, so I'm assuming the tea is silent. It is the best butter. Ever. And I've just made some chicken mayo, just with some leftover roast chicken. Added some sweet corn, obviously salt and pepper, that is critical. And this is going to be a nice chicken and sweet corn sandwich for lunch. I might even have some crisps. I am making enchiladas for dinner. So that is the veggies cooked. This is the sauce that goes on top. Honestly, once you've made this, you know, obviously I'm biased, it's my recipe but you will not look at jarred sauces again. And then I have the chicken marinating here and I'm just about to cook that. So then I'm just gonna add this sauce on and stick it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I've also cut up some feta and that's what we'll layer on before serving. And here's the delightful feta. I love this bread. This is the malted bread from Lidl. Again, toasted, and I've just cooked some bacon medallions. You don't even need sauce on this when you have good quality butter and good bread. So lunch, whilst trying to put this Bobby to sleep. Look at his wee toes. 
um, is the Multi Bloomer from Lidl. Hot and spicy cheese also from Lidl, which is similar to the Mexicana cheese. I would recommend it. Hunters of onion, because I absolutely adore onion. Chicken slices and some coleslaw on the side. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Like the peas, your monk fish bites, and then your fresh chips, and put a little dollop of your tartar sauce on if you choose to. And I had to use part of the restaurant videos to restaurant recipe videos. Wow, I'm to bed. Um, to show you what it was I had because it was delicious and I ate it too quickly before I could take a specific video for this. All done. So I don't eat a lot of cereals, and the two that I do like is crunchy nut cornflakes and porridge so i think i'm going to have porridge for breakfast are you guys a salt your porridge or a sugar lunch is going to be a uh, toasty i got some goat's cheese i made some honeyed figs so that's just some figs drizzled with honey in the oven for about 12 14 minutes at 200 degrees some walnuts on a ciabatta roll really looking forward to it. i just want it a wee bit toasty how good does that look now the real test is going to be eating this in any way that is considered... I can't even think of a word because I'm probably not it. And I've already put it in this tub, but this is an udon noodle with beef mince from Fallon Inch Farm. Bok choy mushroom dish. And I'll probably be doing a recipe for this, but it tastes fab.